Jamie, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope that you are super well. Yes, indeed, we have a brand new lens today. This is a first for the Z mount, the PZ Power Zoom. 12 to 28 mil, 3.5 to 5.6 variable aperture. But it's a power zoom, so you can zoom like this, yeah. You can zoom with that controller there. Now, one of the most exciting things to me is you can use this remote control here. Look at that. Out, in. And it's a remote control, so take it away. And still remotely control. How about that? I'm away from this thing and we are zooming. This is so cool. All right, well, there it is. That's the power zoom. Does all sorts of power zoomy stuff. Great for vloggers. 12, 28, 12, 28. We'll put that back in there. This is from Small Rig. This is from Nikon. All very affordable. As in the Z30, this tripod and the remote. I don't, I don't know if and when they've come and gone. I think I got this combo with my Z30. This gives you an idea of how well this works in conjunction with the Z9. And we're about to pop out to the beautiful view of the city here. There it is. Crash it in to 42 mils, field of view equivalent. Shooting 4K. And so we can just see how small it really is. And it is small. It's a very compact lens. Let's get out the ruler. And it is not even six centimeters, which means it's just over two inches long. And weight, well, I'm glad you asked. And that is saying 200 grams exactly. Uh, I'm guessing that's correct. With a lens cap, it's slightly more. This is an extraordinarily light combo. Something I've talked about in the past is I love zoom lenses that all the zooming stays within. And as we can see here, there is no extruding elements here with this lens. So it's compact, it's perfectly designed for its use case, which is for vloggers. But what I also like about this is I could actually use this to shoot this way is I can shoot myself and I have control over the zoom. Now, normally I'd be able to see the screen. Let's hit record here. Recording. Normally I would be able to see the screen and know what's going on, but I'm showing you what's going on there via the B cam and we can zoom in and out. So not only is this a vlogging camera, but it's also a studio camera where you can remotely control the zoom. And I think that's pretty cool. This lens is an all composite construction. So from what I can see here, all of these are types of composites or plastics, and it is a plastic mount as well. For the target audience, I think a lot of people that would be getting this combo of Z30 and this lens probably would not remove the lens very often at all. Clearly we've got the 16 to 50 combo lens that does come with this, but if you wanna be a vlogger, this is absolutely the way to go. And this is the price here of this lens. I think that's pretty good considering what it does. It offers you a fair bit of power and flexibility. And something that I wanna to touch on, this camera is a 4K camera. So you can shoot in 4K and continue to get this zoom feature in 4K. There's no electronic wizardry here like we've seen with some other recent releases where you're zooming around, sure, but you're actually throwing away resolution. And if you go all the way, well, you go from 4K down to 1080p. Now there is an argument to be had that 1080p is enough for the target audience, but I do think 1080p was what we were using in the past and 4K absolutely seems to be becoming ubiquitous amongst content creators. So this is real, this is optical. It allows you to get 18 mil equivalent all the way out to 42 millimeters equivalent. I think that's really cool. All right, let's go and do a bit of a walking test to show you how well, because 
Another feature I love about this lens is it has VR built into it. Now we know with all of Nikon's current crop of APS-C cameras, that's the Z50, the ZFC, and the Z30, that none of them have in-body image stabilization. This lens has VR. You stick VR on a lens that's this wide, I can tell you it's pretty smooth, but what I'm gonna do is show you that's even better. and we are testing out the 12 to 28 and we are in 12 very wide yeah, so how is it feeling as we just walk along at Flinders Street Station So here it is, the little vlogging lens, the little content creator's lens. We have this perfect environment here where we've been doing some coloring over the school holidays. And this is exactly the sort of camera and lens combo that would be perfect for recording this sort of activity. Getting in, getting in close. Close up focus seems to be very close. I don't have the official numbers at this point in time. And of course we have not had a power zoom before in the Z mount system. So that has meant some new firmware. So there's controls in here that allow you to go from 11 different speeds as to when you're recording and you can actually set the speed of the zoom when you're not recording, which means you can crash it in and out when you're not recording if you wanna move more quickly. So there's all of that, but I have noticed one other little feature, which I'm gonna show you right now, cause it's awesome. And this could bode well for the future, is look at this. This firmware update, which is not released yet, but of course will be as soon as this lens is released, is giving us a red recording box. So the red recording box, along with the tally light, are now two indicators that you are recording. This is something that is exciting to see in an entry-level Nikon camera. And maybe it's possible we will be seeing it in even more Z cameras. Now, of course, this lens can be mounted on any Z camera. I don't know whether firmware to control the power zoom function will be added to any of the full frame cameras, but of course it can be mounted on the full frame cameras and used and zoomed just using the traditional zoom ring at the front. Now let's talk about the construction of this lens. It has two control rings. We have the one here at the back, which is obviously multi-function. It can be aperture, it can be shutter, it can be other things. And then here is the zoom. So when you do mount this lens onto say a Z6 or a Z9, it'll automatically crop to APS-C and it'll work perfectly. As to whether Nikon add firmware functionality to have the power zoom function of this lens, I have no idea whether this would happen. But I have to say, I would love to see that happen because I would definitely use it. To have a power zoom and be an individual content creator, you're working on your own, you're on a tripod like we are now, you might actually want this feature. So I see personally no reason as to why not add this feature to the whole range of cameras. And as we saw here, there is now also the red record box. So why not add that to all the cameras as well? I've certainly seen people asking for that in my comments. Look, I think this is a great further step from Nikon in regards to the entry level video community and this is a genuinely, it's a genuinely useful lens. It's a genuinely useful product. And the fact that you can remote control all the features that you would want, recording and zooming, you can even do playback, you can take stills from this tiny little remote. It, it really is giving you quite a powerful package. And I, look, I don't know what the package price of this might be, but I'm guessing it might come in around 1500 Australian dollars or around 800, 900 US dollars, maybe a thousand, this whole combo here. Please do let me know in the comments below, is the power zoom something that you would be interested in? Does it fit in your world somewhere? Love to hear your thoughts. 
Thank you so much for being here today. If this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share, and please like. And I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Right there, that is the great metropolis of Melbourne. Awesome. Now we're doing this on the Z9 with the on-camera mic. Just thought I'd test it out. Now, I don't think the Z9's got any firmware for this lens. Don't think it knows much about it. Whether the VR and the Z9 and the VR and the lens could sync up, not sure. Look at that beautiful sunset we're getting there. There's the city again. And I will crash that to 42. Probably a bit close, I'm at full stretch there. But anyway, you don't need to use it that way. You can just go wide like that. Pretty good. Pretty cool. I reckon that's pretty cool. We're walking at 12 mil, 18 FOV. Not doing anything special. It's pretty damn smooth. No post smoothing here. Good result using the on-camera Z9 mic, shooting in 4K. And there we have it. Nice. Very nice. Let's go out to 42. Field of view equivalent, which is 28 mil. Twelve, twenty-eight.